Welcome to 2024. We have made it through Christmas. We've made it through New Year's. If you are an educator, you're thinking about going back to work, or maybe today you actually went back to work, and I am thinking about you, and I will be thinking about you even more when I lay down to take a nap later this afternoon. I wanted to open 2024 with just a brief look back at what 2023 brought and then a brief look forward as to sort of where we're going with this channel and what we can hope to do together. And I have to say that, you know, 2023 started with me looking forward to retirement. I was still working at Fulton High School in Knoxville, Tennessee, and every day, if there was an issue that came up in an administrator's meeting, uh, something we tried to create a plan for, my response would typically be 6 to 23 um, because that was my retirement date. And people got absolutely sick <laughs> of hearing about it. But I had a countdown timer on my phone, and every once in a while I would pull it up, I'd take a screenshot, I'd share it with some people put it on Instagram um, because it was the year of retirement. That was, that was the year for me. So I was very much looking forward to, uh, to that. In March, uh, I took a trip that I had been planning for seven years, uh, and that was my trip to Assisi. I spent seven days in Assisi, Italy, going from church to church to church, um, just trying to get a feel for the place and, and some sense of reverence from the places that I visited um, as I was looking toward continuing to write my book um, that involves the life of St. Francis and St. Clair. Uh, and then, of course, you know, retirement did happen on 6 to 23 uh, That was my last day at work. You know, just prior to that, we had had... Uh, graduation, and this picture was taken by one of the administrators on stage uh, at our graduation because this was the officially the very last diploma that I would ever hand out in my career. And uh, that that picture holds a very special place for me because graduation is, you know, it's, it's the thing we're trying to get kids to do is to graduate high school. And we push and we pull and we prod and we cajole and we do all these things in an attempt to get them across the finish line. And that finish line is hugely important for all of us, both teachers, administrators, students, parents. You cannot be overstated how important that is to the life of a young person. Retirement was 6 223. This channel was launched on 6 3. 23, the very next day. And yeah, I've said this before, I will probably continue to say it until, you know, people get tired of me, of, of this channel. And that is, you know, I, I had done a really good job in the first four weeks of gaining 40 followers. I was very proud of those 40 followers. And then this video hit, um, on the 4th of July, and nothing has been the same since. We went to almost 20,000 subscribers immediately within just, you know, two or three or four weeks, and then it just continued to climb all the way up to 40, and we're about, we're almost, uh, I want to say we're at 43,000 now, close to that, and that was other than other than graduation and the trip to Assisi, that was the single greatest thing that happened to me in 2023 was the viral launch of this channel. It even outweighed the fact that in August I turned 65, which was a pretty good milestone in itself. But this channel has, has brought a lot of stuff into play. People discovered I had a photography channel, and I went from 600 subscribers 
to almost 2,000 subscribers now. We're just a few short of 2,000. And they all came from, I say all, almost all of them came from watching this channel and making that migration. And so that immediately set up my channel to be monetized in the future. And the number of watch hours has just consistently grown every month so that I'm hoping by the end of 2024, my photography channel may be monetized. And, you know, it won't be, it won't do anything like this channel, but, you know, every little thing helps when you're retired. So not only did it help to launch that, but it also helped to sort of draw attention to my Kofi account. Um, cause I put up, uh, an image that people had commented on and gave that away for free at Christmas. I put up the first 16 pages, the rough edit, 16 pages of my book. People downloaded that. And then people started donating for coffee money. And, uh, you know, pretty soon I had a little over a hundred dollars. People had donated through the, through the Kofi account. And I, I'm, I was just flabbergasted and that has set up the possibility now in 2024 of moving into these um, tutorials I've been talking about for iPhone photography and iPhone videography. So we'll talk about that again here in just shortly. So 2023 was hugely successful on a number of planes. So looking forward to 2024, I've already mentioned the fact that I'm putting together these tutorials. The first ones that will come out will be on photography. Now, I am not a professional photographer. I'm not the best photographer you'll come across. My images are not going to win awards at, at photography competitions. But I enjoy photography, and I think photography is important for us as we capture moments of our lives that we want to remember. And there is no easier way to do that than by having a smartphone in our pocket that we can just pull out and take pictures anytime we want. So that will be coming in 2024. I've made a list here of things I don't want to forget. So um, in addition to that, last March I went to Assisi. This March, my family and I are going to Scotland. And uh, there will be, I think, 14 of us at last count, uh, a couple of vans driving around to the Isle of Skye and back to Edinburgh, going back to Danoon where we live for a little while, letting my kids enjoy fish and chips from Anselmo's, which we did when we lived there, letting them see where we live because honestly, they don't remember a lot about it. But not only putting them back in touch with their childhood of the time in Scotland, but to let their kids also experience what it was like for mom and dad to be in Scotland for about six months. So that's, that's huge on my list. And one of the things I'm looking forward to this year is hopefully getting to at least 50,000 subscribers on this channel. I don't get anything from YouTube till I hit a hundred thousand. That's when I get a little silver plaque, but at 50,000, that's going to be a huge milestone for me because we have been stuck here at 40 to 43 for at least a couple of months and, and the needle just hasn't moved much. And so I'm looking forward to sort of hitting a plateau where that continues to grow in 2024. As far as travel goes, I am planning a trip back to Paso Grill, Florida, which is probably one of my favorite spots to visit within the United States. And I hope that by the time I do that, I have my car ready to do some camping. I'm not a camper. <laughs> my my idea of camping is going to a hotel, but I am going to try my hand at doing some camping in my Tiguan and setting that up for some overnight stays. Um, and then uh, enjoying Passa Grill and especially the sunsets at Passa Grill. There are none better as far as I'm concerned. What else have I got here? Let's see. Also, I think one of the things that I kind of got away from uh, with this channel and part of it was maybe laziness and part of it was just trying to keep up uh, is that I've not done as much video around Chattanooga as I had originally planned to do. We went to the Corgi Parade, we went to, to Nightfall, we went to the Incline and Point Park. This year I, I want to take you all with me to Ruby Falls, to Rock City, to the aquarium, 
to some other places around Chattanooga, my five favorite coffee shops in town. I, I want to include that. Now, here's the thing about those kinds of <clears throat> those kinds of videos. Those videos and my cooking videos, the people that watch them seem to enjoy them, but I don't get nearly as many people to watch them. And so I watch, you know, my views go down. I watch my subscribers leave, uh, people that didn't sign up for this kind of content. All that is okay. I, it, I'm, I'm sticking to what I wanted to do originally with the channel, and part of that is to showcase Chattanooga and the surrounding areas of Chattanooga. And then I have now, I did a video last year. Um, this video, we'll put the, I'll put the um, thumbnail up here, but this video on being banned from the Amazon affiliate program because I had intentionally decided I would use that for my photography channel to try to make some income, recommend some equipment that I use, People might use the affiliate link to go buy that equipment. I might get a few pennies here and there. Since then, I have uh, become a part of the Adorama affiliate program. And Adorama is specifically a camera, uh, photography, videography website. And I get a lot of my uh, equipment from there. Not all of it, but a lot of it from there. <laughs> so over on the photography channel... I will begin sort of posting some links to things that I'm trying, things that I recommend, the equipment that I use. I may put a uh, Pinterest page up specifically for the equipment that I use. People can buy if they want to. If they buy it through that link, it gives me a few cents. So it, it'll give me a jump start on the um, monetization of my photography channel. I'm also looking forward to um, another overseas adventure besides Scotland. I have signed up for a year-long subscription just to try it out with a website called Going. I think it used to be called Scott's Cheap Travel. Um, and they send me notifications of when there are cheap flights out of Chattanooga, Knoxville, Atlanta, and Nashville um, to various places around the world. So I, I'm getting information now on flights to Rome that are like $400, $450. But they're right now, they're all during the time I'm going to Scotland, so I can't take advantage of that. But eventually that will sort of spill over into the fall. And one of the nice things about being retired is that I have no constraints on what days I can fly. And so if the fly leaves on a Wednesday and comes back on a Monday, that's when I go. Um, I don't have to worry about asking off from work and I don't have to get permission from anybody and, uh, and the travel will just be cheap and hopefully frequent. <laughs> the other thing, probably the single most important thing that I'm going to try to get accomplished in 2024 is to finish my book and to get it published so that it's available online for purchase. And I have a ways to go. It's sort of hit a snag. I'm not making as much progress as I would like to. So that's got to become a priority for me this year. And I hope in all of that, in all of those things that I've outlined, I'm hoping that you will tag along with me and uh, enjoy the ride because I am thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying making content for this channel and seeing the wonderful comments and responses from people to the things that I post next week. I will be posting, I say next week, this is going live on a Tuesday. On Thursday, my Thursday post will be a video on why YouTube has paid me for the first six months. And I think you will be just as shocked as I was. If you have not yet watched the original video that took this channel into the stratosphere on how to get rid of 35 years of stuff, I'm going to put a link to it here at the end of this video. I would really appreciate it if you've not watched it already that you give it a click and watch it because I am desperately trying to get that video to 1 million views in 2024. Here's to a great new year. I hope all of you have a blessed, blessed 2024. We'll see you next time.